Hi, welcome to another video in my series on solving second order linear differential equations, which equals some function of x. Now I'm assuming that you've been watching all the previous videos in this series where we've seen that the general solution y is equal to the complementary function plus the particular integral, cf plus pi for short. And I did an example in the past where we had our equation here and it equaled an exponential function. But this is a special one and I want to show you why it's special. We've got to take care over the particular integral. It's not going to be like the ones that we've done in the past. So let's, let's start by working out our complementary function. In other words, solving this equation where it equals 0. So we'll just do that first. Let's write it down. d2y by dx squared minus 3 dy by dx plus 2y equals 0. So now we need to work out what our auxiliary equation is. So just put that down, auxiliary equation. and if we write d2y by dx squared as m squared, then we've got minus 3 times m for dy dx, and then plus 2 equals 0. And this equation factorizes. It factorizes to m minus 2 multiplied by m minus 1, and that would equal 0. And we can solve this. We get 2 real and different roots, m equals 2 and m equals 1. And if this is the case, our complementary function, cf for short, is going to be of the form y equals a constant, a say, e to the power 2x, and then plus another constant, which we'll call b, and then it'll be e to the power 1x, or just simply e to the power x. Now we get on to the reason why this is a special case when we look at our particular integral. We would normally say for something like this that contains an exponential function, we'd normally say let y equal some constant, lambda say, multiplied by e to whatever power we've got here. In this case, e to the power 2x. But do you notice we have got in our complementary function, this term here, which is essentially of the same form as this, a constant times e to the power 2x, okay? a e to the power 2x. And we can't have that. We can't have the same kind of term in both situations. So to get around this problem, what we always do is multiply this by x. So I'm going to write lambda x, okay? Lambda x e to the power 2x as our particular integral. Okay, from here on, it's really much the same as what we've done in the past, though. We find dy by dx, d2y by dx squared, and substitute all these values into our equation and work out what our value for lambda is. So let's start then by saying what dy by dx would be. Well, for dy by dx, okay, if we use the product rule, let's say we got lambda x then times e to the power 2x, differentiate lambda x, and you're going to get lambda, multiply it with e to the 2x. And then plus, and then we've got lambda x times the differential of e to the 2x, which is going to give us 2 lambda x e to the 2x. 2 lambda x e to the power 2x. We also now need to go on and find d2y by dx squared. So if we differentiate lambda e to the 2x, we're going to get 2 lambda e to the 2x. And then for 2 lambda x e to the 2x, well, it's just going to be twice the result that we got for dy by dx, okay? So we're going to just double this result. So we'll end up with 2 lambda e to the 2x plus 4 lambda x e to the 2x. 
Okay, and if I clean this up, what we've got is 4 lambda e to the 2x plus 4 lambda x e to the 2x. Okay, well, what we need to do now is just substitute these results, let's just say sub, into equation 1, where equation 1 is our original equation up here. And if we substitute those in, we've got d2y by dx squared, so we'll put this in. We've got 4 lambda e to the 2x plus 4 lambda x e to the 2x. And then we've got minus 3 lots of dy by dx. Now I'm going to multiply these terms by minus 3 then straight away. So we're going to have minus 3 lambda e to the 2x minus 6 lambda x e to the 2x. Okay, And then we've got plus 2y. So we've got plus 2 lots of lambda x e to the 2x. So 2 lambda x e to the 2x. And this equals e to the power 2x. And this works out really nicely because all that we get when we group together these terms is simply lambda e to the 2x. And that must be equal to the e to the 2x on the right hand side there. And that means that lambda must be equal to 1. And if lambda equals 1, it follows that the particular integral, pi for short, is basically going to be x e to the 2x if we replace lambda with 1. So our particular integral then is x e to the power 2x. Which then means that our general solution, in the usual way, our general solution is going to be y equals the complementary function plus the particular integral. The complementary function is here. It is a e to the power 2x then plus b e to the power x. And then we add to this our particular integral which is x e to the 2x plus x e to the power 2x. Okay, so I hope it's given you an idea then when we have this special case. Just take care that you check out that your particular integral is not one of the terms in your complementary function. If it is, then you need to multiply the lambda e to the 2x, which you would normally have taken with an x. All right?